time to go for gold again here in Antalya. Stage one of the Hyundai Archery World Cup and the compound mixed team sees a gold medal matchup between Colombia and Slovenia. We'll go down to the shooting line for the athlete introductions. On target number one, representing Colombia, Sara Lopez. And Daniel Munoz. On target number two, representing Slovenia, Toya Ellison. And alias Matija Brek. The line judge for this match is Marin Haas. So Croatia, sorry, Colombia, I should say, go up against Slovenia. Two strong teams. Colombia have been very, very strong, a traditionally strong archery team. Slovenia climbing up through the rankings. We have two superstars, though, uh, lining up first for each team. Sara Lopez, six times Hyundai Archery World Cup champion, leading the line for Colombia. She's the world number one. And her counterpart, Toya Ellison, on the Slovenian team, is world number three. Will be Colombia to get us underway, and it will be the superstar, just 26 years old, world number one, Sara Lopez. Thank you. Ten points. Uh, well, it would be surprised if it was anything other than a ten. won the World Championships in the under 18 category. Third point. You can see why those two teams have made it to the gold medal match. All four athletes in the center of the target. Third point from San Andreas. Daniel Munoz, very young looking, a 33 year old world number 14, reigning world mixed team champion with Sara Lopez. That's perfect style for Colombia. This is incredible quality. Yeah, like you say, as a world, reigning world champion, you'd expect nothing less really. Really good conditions here in Antalya, doesn't get much better than this. Nine points. Nine points. A little bit of pressure there on Anias Brink uh, with Ellison dropping a single point. Did we just clip the line? So it's marked as a ten point point for now. Really expect too much to be changed as Ellison makes some minor adjustments to her side. Quality very high. Ellison just dropping that one single point, but she walked away from the line looking like I know, I know what I did wrong there. Yeah, it's a good place to be. Sometimes it's just that your sight just wandered off the middle a little bit um, and went off into the nine. And if that happens, do you know what? It won't where you aimed it. So it was still a good shot. Um, it's impossible to think that you can hold dead still. People think, you know, they talk about a dead steady hold, but really, in, in reality, these bows are just moving around a little bit, and you've got to allow that so that you can be relaxed and not have tension as you're holding the bow. So, yep, she's confident, she knows what to do, she'll come back and shoot better, I'm sure. Yeah, you, you talked before about it, you know, it's impossible to stay steady. You talk about the, 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 the sort of, if you think about it, the tip of the arrow, if you like, just moving a tiny little bit. Of, but we are talking about millimeters or even fractions of a millimeter because they make such a big difference from shooting line 50 meters down to the target don't they 
Yeah, that's right. And if you think you've got to hold dead still, you just create all this tension. And tension actually creates shaking and then it gets worse anyway. So if you just accept that it's going to float around a little bit, you know, these are machines. They're fantastically accurate bows. So if you just allow that little bit of movement, you relax, just keep your pressures front and back. The shot's going to break. And if it's somewhere, if it's somewhere in the goal generally where you're aiming, it's probably going to be a 10. There is Tyra Ellison. Slovenian dropping just one point. The lucky charms required for Slovenia. The trail by just a single point. And they are up against a very strong Colombian team. They'll shoot first in the second end. And it's back to Toya Ellison on the shooting line. Ten points from Almost here, what we call a long haul for Sara Lopez then. <laughs> Usually very, very quick. Talking a teammate through the shot. Words of encouragement, keeping it strong. My point. Frank talked about how excited he was to make this final, his first senior final on this stage at a World Cup. Yeah, very much taking it in his stride, isn't he? Perfect from Slovenia. Having a perfect in their first end. Lopez's his first arrow though in this second going for a measure. Just got a very quick look at it there. It looks like it has just clipped the line. I would think so, but we're just gonna wait for that judge to, to measure it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that target again. First arrow, as you can see, has a nine with an asterisk against it, so it's going for a measure. The target judge will have to decide whether it is touching the line and thus gets marked up, or if it's just outside near the line. Either way, very, very tight match. Is it going to be all square? There is that top arrow. Looks well into me. <laughs> you say well in. It looks more in the nine than it does the ten, but the most important thing is it's touching the line, right? As long as the arrow is touching the nine, it's going to be marked up. And even if the judge had to get their magnifying glass out, and they'll look from both sides very carefully. If they can't tell it's out, if they can't see it's definitely not touching the line, then it has to be in. So the benefit of the doubt is given. Brain, as you say, Nicky, uh, excited to have made uh, his first final. Uh, but he looks just carb solid. Not, not. Uh, it doesn't look like he's in a final, does it? 18 years old, brilliant. You know, no expectations really. No horrible <laughs> nightmares in his past. It's just get out here and have fun, enjoy it. Well, as predicted, the arrow was marked up for. The Colombians and they lead by a single point, so it will be Ellison and Brink for Slovenia to shoot first at a halfway stage of this match. They're trailing by a single point to Colombia. In 
these two are a fairly new team with you know Brent coming up to the senior divisions now and we've talked about working together over the last year and how they're starting to gel. I think this is going to be a team to watch the future. that that's uh, gone into the ten. Took a little breath before calling it a nine for a measure. I think it's in, personally. Again, I think they're just being cautious on this, but we'll have to wait and see. Adds to the drama. You know, maybe Sara Lopez went, oh, let's go see if I can shoot the liners today. You know, like, make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> She's good enough. <laughs> She's certainly good enough to give that a go. I'm sure she would do that in a gold medal <laughs> match. But uh, look, the key thing here is that Brink and uh, Ellison have not missed the centre of the target since that first end. Left, takes a deep breath. Going, Karen, 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 stop cursing these athletes. But the quality, that's the word I'm talking about. The quality is so high that it could be just one drop point that makes the difference between gold and silver. Yeah, it really is at this level. I mean, these guys are just world-class competitors. Yeah, one point, it could be just a couple of millimetres, make all the difference. Big flinch. He thought that was going to go and it didn't. Second attempt. Big nine. nine. Right. That's definitely not clipped the line. In fact, it's close to clipping the line with the eight. Uh, so that is a, a confirmed dropped point for Colombia for sure. And the question is, is it two drop points? Nikki, you think that uh, that first one from uh, Sara Lopez was a clear ten? From our view here, yeah, I think it was in. So I'd be surprised if that was down to a nine. We'll get a closer look at it here, or we'll get a very close look at it here. Ten. 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 Well, that's that Ten. bottom arrow on the Ten. left hand target, that's the one in question. As we look back at Ellison and Brink shooting their arrows into definite tens. Lopez's first arrow marked for a measure, but it was a 10. It's a teammate's last arrow. Here he is, Daniel Munoz, with a big flinch, dropping the first point for Colombia. And what it means for us neutrals is that this is an all square match. Just one point dropped by both teams here. Colombia versus Slovenia, 119 points apiece with just four arrows left for each team to decide the first mixed team gold medal of the season here on Compound Saturday in Antalya. And number four, Sara Lopez of Colombia steps up to the line. Who is going to take gold? 119 apiece, Colombia versus Slovenia. <laughs> He's done well with that because it knocks your confidence a bit when something doesn't quite go right and he's just been solid, kept that shot flowing back in the 10. The telltale sign that in the next shot you're going to see is an arrow in the 10. Now we'll see whether Eliash Brink can hold his nerve. Three points. What happened there? A really quick shot, wasn't it? Just went. He was shocked by it, though. He was not expecting that at all. 
Opportunity. There's another one on the line. Nikki, you may well be right. She's going for. She she wants to make the the, the target judge do a bit of uh, work. Ten to put this out of reach. It's in the nine. So we have a match on our hands here. That measure there on the third arrow, the asterisk on the nine, could well come into play here. Ellison and Brink need a couple of tens to make that measure important. There's the first one. There's Brink. Surprised himself with his first shot of this end. That one, though, has gone high, and that looks like it's in the nine. And it looks like the measure is going to be unimportant. Celebrations from Colombia. Of course, it will be important in terms of the final score, but Colombia look like they've taken the gold here. I'm always reluctant to call it until the target judge has called things. But it does look very confident. Squeno is the agent for the Colombians, looking very relaxed at the uh, target end. Munoz and Lopez with smiles on their faces. We heard a couple of nines called there. Well, the Colombian arrow has been marked up, that is for sure. And there is confirmation. Sara Lopez and Daniel Munoz of Colombia have taken the gold here at the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup in Antalya, Turkey.